Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. We're very grateful and thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. You can find us on Facebook as Funny and Jesse. You can find us on Instagram as Funny and Jesse. And feel free to um, enjoy the content that we put out on all our platforms. Feel free to contact us and we'll be more than glad to interact with you guys. A big shout out to everyone that keeps on suggesting stuff. And the person that suggested this, they suggested I react to our prophet did this every night in Ramadan. And keep the suggestions coming. Like I said, if there's something that you guys really want us to react to, drop the link in the comment section below. Don't get tired. We'll get to your um suggestion in time. So so yeah, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you Allah. In the month of Ramadan the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would be blessed with a nightly visit. A nightly appointment with angel Jibreel who would mutually study with him the Qur'an. Imagine, subhanallah al what a gathering. And describing this and its effects on the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, the companion Abdullah ibn Abbas, he said something remarkable. He said, كان النبي sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ajwad nas the Prophet ﷺ was the most generous of all people. And the most generous he would be was in the month of Ramadan when Jibreel would meet him. He said an angel Jibreel would meet with the Prophet ﷺ on every night during Ramadan and study with him the Qur'an. He said, وَلَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ حِينَ يَلْقَاهُ جِبْرِيلِ أَجْوَدُ بِالْخَيْرِ مِنَ الْرِيحِ الْمُرْسَلَةِ And when Angel Jibreel would meet him, the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم would become more generous in doing good than the blowing wind. Subhanallah al-Azim. What is the point of mentioning this narration? Take note of this. The greater the dosage of Qur'an in the life of a person, the greater the dosage of worship should be. That's what we saw with the Prophet ﷺ. You could say the more he learned, the more he did. Our era is one of information. Information overload rather. It's not just a weekly Friday sermon, alhamdulillah, that we're blessed with, or regular study circles in the mosque, or weekend courses, but even the internet that has completely removed every limitation on knowledge, acquisition. Therefore, there must be a reoccurring point in our lives where we pause and we ask the question, my knowledge is increasing, my knowledge is certainly growing, but is it causing me to grow? I've learned something new today, what next? These are the questions that will cause our knowledge to become an argument for us on the Day of Judgment. On a day when knowledge will be an argument against so many people. Abdul A'la At-Tamimi, he said amazing words, take note of this, he said, مَنْ أُوْتِيَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ مَا لَا يُبْكِيهِ فَخَلِيقٌ أَلَّا يَكُونَ أُوْتِيَ عِلْمًا يَنْفَعُهُ He said, whoever gains knowledge that does not cause him to cry, then such a person has not gained beneficial knowledge. He said, this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Qur'an, in description of the scholars, may Allah make you and I from among them. He said, in description of the scholars, He said, those who are given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall upon their faces in prostration. وَيَقُولُونَ سُبَحَانَ رَبِّنَا إِنْ كَانَ وَعْدُ رَبِّنَا لَمَفْعُولَ And they say, Glory be to Allah. Truly the promise of our Lord must be fulfilled. Allah said, وَيَخِرُّونَ لِلْأَذْقَانِ يَبْكُونَ 
وَيَزِيدُهُمْ خُشُوعًا And they fall upon their faces weeping. And the Qur'an increases them in humble submission. This is the fruit of knowledge. Sometimes you learn something and you feel compelled just to put your face on the floor in glorification of Allah Almighty, the one above. Do you feel that when you learn something new? Imam Ahmad, he said, مَا كَتَبْتُ حَدِيثًا عَنِ النَّبِيِّ صلى الله عليه وسلم إِلَّا وَقَدْ عَمِلْتُ بِهِ There isn't any hadith that I have written or taken note of except that I first endeavored to apply its teaching. See why Allah blessed him and his knowledge. We're still singing in his praise today. I applied every hadith that I documented. And by the way, unlike some of us, Imam Ahmad had memorized hundreds of thousands of narrations and he made an effort to apply each and every one of them. He learned, for example, that the Prophet ﷺ had hijama, cupping therapy done to him and that he gave the therapist one dinar. So Imam Ahmad had cupping therapy on him and he gave the therapist one dinar. Amazing compliance. He learned that the Prophet ﷺ hid in a cave for three days during his escape from Mecca to Medina and so Imam Ahmad sat in a cave for three nights as well. A student of knowledge once spent a night with Imam Ahmad in his home. And so Imam Ahmad placed for him a container of water in his room so that he can carry out his washing, his wudu for his night prayer. When Ahmad came to his room at Fajr time for the dawn prayer, he noticed that the water had not been moved from its place. So Imam Ahmad said to him, Subhanallah! رَجُلٌ يَطْلُبُ الْعِلْمَ وَلَا يَكُونُ لَهُ وِرْدٌ مِنَ الْلَيْلِ SubhanAllah, what is this? A student of knowledge who doesn't pray at night. A student of knowledge, Ahmad said, who doesn't pray at night. In other words, how does that work? And that is why Al-Hasan al-Basri, he also said beautiful words. Take note of it. كَانَ الرَّجُلُ إِذَا طَلَبَ الْعِلْمَ لَمْ يَلْبَثْ أَنْ يُرَى ذَلِكَ فِي بَصَرِهِ وَلِسَانِهِ وَيَدِهِ وَصَلَاتِهِ وَتَخَشُّعِهِ وَزُهْدِهِ He said in the past, when a person would start his journey of knowledge, the effects of his learning would instantly start appearing upon his glances, his words, his hands, his prayer, his humility, his minimalism. Allahu Akbar, brothers and sisters, our knowledge is growing, but are our actions growing? Sufyan ibn Uyayna, he would also say that if, I, if I'm spending my hours during the day foolishly and I'm spending my nights ignorantly, فَمَا أَصْنَعُ بِهَذَا الْعِلْمِ الَّذِي أَطْلُبُهُ Then what is the point of this knowledge that I'm writing? What is the point of it? Beneficial knowledge causes a person to grow in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's eyes, but it causes a person's own eyes to see himself as something small. In other words, beneficial knowledge causes a person to cry over his weak self and to long the journey that lies ahead to Allah. Beneficial knowledge pesters the believer, persistently demanding its right of application till it is applied. Knowledge causes growth. Knowledge causes love of Allah. Knowledge causes lowering of the gaze. Knowledge causes a tangible change in our lives. Make this Ramadan proof that you have understood this message, my dear brother, my dear sister. Our knowledge is growing, but our, our actions really growing with that knowledge. Many times they say we believe in God, but we do nothing to um, build that relationship that we're saying we have with God to show the faith, the hope, and everything else that we say we look for in God. Otherwise, always love anything to do with Muhammad. I think I enjoy anything related to him a little too much but then that doesn't make me biased to anything at the end of the day ask yourself what are you doing during these times of ramadan are you living like muhammad lived not every, i mean you're not experiencing everything no angels are visiting you but i'm just saying are you doing things the way he was doing them you see like the role model that you look up to to guide you through this ramadan otherwise i have nothing to say this was a short interesting video and let me know what you guys actually got from this 
video um, i always love to hear what you guys learn from this video so drop your comments in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to read uh if if there's anything that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video